Hi folks, Debbie Ray here, the gardener wife. Today I'm getting ready to do another sowing of cool crops. And so I want to talk a bit about how to determine when it is time to do that. A lot of seed packages say uh, for cool crops that you should plant them as soon as the soil can be worked. Well, there's an easy test to see that. Uh, first, you know, it's got to be thawed, but you also don't want it to be too wet. You can see some puddles here on the black plastic that covers my raised beds because we had all snow a couple days ago and rain before that. So we've had over an inch of precipitation in the last week. And uh, it, it melted yesterday, but it's still kind of wet in the open beds here. So I'm just gonna show you that this uh, soil here in my herb bed, uh, one of the best tests to see if the soil can be worked, like if you wanna go at it with a tiller, is to pick some up, see if it forms a ball, and then you poke it. And if, it's, if it doesn't fall apart, you know, easily, then it's still too wet. And uh, going through, you know, if you're just starting a bed and you're using a tiller, uh, tilling it in this condition would be a bad idea. Um, if you've got a low till garden like I do and you're only plunking in some holes and getting a few things, you can do that. Uh, a little scraping of the surface for, for like I did a couple weeks ago for lettuce seeds, that's fine. But uh, here I'm going to show you why I like my current system of covering these raised beds with black plastic in the winter because that means they stay drier during these spring rains. And so here, the soil in this bed, which is where I'm going to be planting peas and other cool crops, you can see it's a lot drier and more crumbly it, it'll hold together and, and make a bit of a ball so it's not too dry, but uh, it just comes apart very easily. And uh, that means this soil is workable, ready to be worked. I don't have to work it. It was already uh, uh, hand shoveled manure was, was, you know, just lightly hand tilled in. This is a low till garden. Uh, Rototiller has not touched this in years and that keeps all the happy uh, organisms in the soil web, well, it keeps them all happy. <laughs> so they'll be feeding my plants, continue to feed the, the garden from, from year to year when they're not chewed up by the tines of a rototiller. So here we go. I'm gonna start planting some cool crops. <laughs> 